Okay then, I'm making boxes for banjos. I mentioned the other day that I was going to sell a bunch of banjos. In this box, I have a SS Stewart student banjo. This one is uh, pretty nasty and needs a goodly bit of cleaning up, but it's all complete and got all the parts. Somebody, I'm not going to name any names here, put a little fifth string piece on here as an experiment. And uh, I'm going to let it go just like it is. Uh, and this box here, which is one that a banjo neck came in, is just about good enough for it. I can cut it down right above the size of the pot and stuff some paper in there. Close that over and I'll make a perfect banjo box for that. This one has that honer. Some of y'all might remember I bought a little honer travel banjo. It's new and it's in a gig bag. And uh, I'm going to put it up for sale and it'll, that'll be a perfect box for it. One of the things that makes these things expensive is the size of the boxes. And some of these in here, these long neck banjos are a little more expensive. I'm thinking about selling both of these. This one is an old Supertone. It has a, uh, this was a fancy-ish Supertone in its day, but it's pretty rough. It's got some cracked up spots in the head. I think it's missing two or three frets down here. It's got some rough spots in it, but it's still a good banjo. Uh, got all the hardware. It's a uh, nickel plated brass rollover pot. Uh, it's a neck with a, some of y'all might be familiar with when you see a neck like that, it means it's made out of several pieces of wood. That piece in the middle is a piece of ebony in the middle of it that's glued in. This one had a broken neck on it. I believe this might be the one that the missionary ran over that I loaned it to that I used to go to church with. Let me take a look at this. Well, if it is, I did a good job of fixing it because I don't see the crack, but I know it's there. I think it's right in this headstock here. I really don't see it on the back side. Uh, maybe. maybe there's a crack right there. Yeah, there's a crack. So I don't know if that one will bring much. You know, this might be a, a banjo that I do about as well to pull the pot off of and sell it separately. I don't know if anybody's gonna wanna buy it like that. This one here is a, basically this is the same thing as that SS Stewart, but it doesn't have the, a name on it. This probably sold through Montgomery Ward or Sears or something, one of those old no-name banjos. Most of these uh, student banjos, the neck is warped on them by now. This one does not have a warped neck. It's perfectly straight. It's nasty, but it's actually a good little banjo. Uh, I might do better to, on this one, just take it all apart, sand it down, re-varnish it, clean all the parts up, put it back together, sell it that way rather than sell it as nasty looking. Somebody, I believe somebody rubbed some stain on top of this. This is a maple neck and I believe I believe this black stuff is somebody's idea of a stain job. Looks pretty awful. But that manjo might clean up and be nice. So I think I'm gonna take this one out of the list and plan to spend some time cleaning it up. This one uh, This one is probably too rough to sell. I don't know. It's a good banjo. I played it a lot and it plays good. It's, it doesn't look like I played it a lot because it's so nasty. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just concentrate on selling those two that I have out there first. And then this one here is just a, just kind of a good looking but not very expensive old Japanese neck that I put on a really horrible pot just to, just to hear what it sounded like. This is the pot from the first banjo I ever owned. And I just wanted to stick a head on there to see how it sounded. And it sounded like nothing special. Uh, I kind of knew that before I did it, but uh, you know, I could sell that one, but I could also just keep it for the neck and put that neck on something else. I'm all, all the time working on something and changing the neck around. So I might just hold on to that thought, but I got two in here that I could uh, sell off and get out of here right off. I've also got an old uh, zither banjo. It's very much like the one that went on the Shackleton expedition. Um, kind of a famous banjo. It's got a warped neck on it, but 
Someone might give a little something for it. So, huh, okay. I'm gonna think about this some more. What I'm doing today ain't making very good video, I'm afraid, but, uh, oh, 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 oh. saved the day on that one. That's my other Shackleton banjo, the other banjo down there. It's a short neck. And I put a fist string on, but it plays pretty good. Huh? It has an interesting, unique sound. That's why I need to get rid of these things, because I got too many. They're starting to pile up around here, and I, I can't get time to play them all. Maybe if I sold a bunch of these and took the money and bought one pretty good banjo, I'd be a lot better off. I suppose I could sell this one just like it is. Uh, still a lot of good stuff there. I'll think about it.